Cystic Monitor automatically creates dynamic topology maps for you when discovering your environment. These topology maps help you quickly visualize, drill down, and diagnose different areas of your cluster. Through Explore, Cystic Monitor provides three pre-built topology views, one for CPU usage, one for network traffic, and one for response time. These topology views respond to your current grouping. This means, for instance, that when you're in the host to containers view, you'll have a map of the server hosts or cloud instances in your environment and how they're connected. And you'll be able to expand the view to see the containers running on each and the associated metrics. And so here we see response time at and between hosts and containers. For orchestrated environments, you can switch to a relevant grouping and now view the topology from a Kubernetes view, for instance. So as we expand our view in this example, we navigate from namespace to deployment. We see our pods and our containers. And then what's running inside. I can see the connections between each. And for this map, I can see the latency across those connections. Now let's look at how you can create a custom topology view by adding a dashboard. We'll start with a blank dashboard this time. Next, we'll choose a topology panel to add. It auto opens to a panel that lets you choose the metric you want to showcase on the topology map. Perhaps you want to see, for instance, a map of what's happening with memory bytes used and net bytes across the links. Now we can explore what's running to see consumption and so on. Now instead, let's say you're the owner of the Java application and you'd like to have a quick and simple logical view into your Java Kubernetes namespace. You can edit the grouping and scoping to narrow in what you want to see. This time, let's choose the grouping namespace.name, deployment.name, pod.name and container.name and then scope that namespace name is example java app we hit save now you have a simplified topology view for just this application and you can explore the namespace to see that you have five kubernetes deployments Let's choose one to see that there are now here three pods running. And inside one of these pods, let's zoom in to see that there's a single container running. But again, what's inside? It's easy to see. Simply click, and you see that there are two processes running, Nginx and Tomcat. You can see the metrics, memory bytes, and network bytes used. But now the other insight you can get is you can see that Tomcat is not just communicating with Nginx but also with the backend MongoDB, Cassandra, and Redis. One way we might benefit from this is identifying if any of these links are disconnected, or if perhaps they're flooded with traffic, at which point we would see a thicker line between two processes. And from there, we can investigate further what might be happening between these two parts of your application. Topology maps can be extremely helpful in understanding key metrics across systems and services, as well as dependencies in your environment. Thanks for watching.